Namaskar, I am Dr. Tarun Jindal, Bureau Oncology and Robotic Surgery at Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, Andul Road, Havda. This day is being celebrated as the World Cancer Day and let's take this opportunity to discuss about few common cancers in the field of urology that we treat. We would also discuss about how to identify what are the symptoms of these cancers and what is the treatment and the outcome of these cancers. So the commonest cancers which we see in this part of the country are bladder cancers, kidney cancers, penile cancers and some other cancers like ureteric cancers. The, the kidney cancer manifests usually as the bleeding with the urine. The bladder cancer also has a similar presentation. So how to identify whether this is coming from the kidney or whether this is coming from the bladder? We need to ask certain questions to the patients. So whether they observed that the entire urine was red in color or they saw some clots being passed in the urine. If the clots were small, it is likely that the bleeding was coming from the bladder. But if the clots were long, it is likely that the bleeding was coming from the upper tract that is from the kidney. The, the uh, bleeding is usually painless if it is occurring from the lower tract that is from the bladder but it can be associated with pain if it is occurring from the kidney. Now how do we treat kidney cancer? So if the kidney cancer is small now we by the virtue of robotic surgery and laparoscopic surgery we can remove only that part of the tumor which, uh, which is affecting the kidney and we can save the entire kidney. If the tumor is large enough, then we can remove the entire kidney and this can again be done by robotic approach which causes uh, a more precise surgery, less amount of blood loss, the surgery is quicker, the recovery is quicker and the pain is much less. The bladder cancer again manifests with similar presentation of hematuria as we have discussed with the kidney cancer and there are multiple stages of bladder cancer which we diagnose by doing a biopsy. Once we know what stage of the bladder cancer we are dealing with, we cater or the, we titrate the treatment according to the stage of the cancer, which can vary from just a microsurgery to installation of certain medications inside the bladder, which decrease the chances of it coming back, or it can be by the removal of a part of the bladder or the entire bladder, or this can also include radiation and chemotherapy. The other common cancer which we are uh, seeing from day to day is basically the prostate cancer. So as the age increases, the incidence of prostate cancer also increases. The prostate cancer is usually not symptomatic in early stages, but if it has metastasized or it has involved multiple areas of your body, then it will become symptomatic. You might experience certain body aches, body pains. But the usual presentation of a patient with suspected prostate cancer is that he has some urinary symptoms for which a doctor orders a PSA test or does a rectal examination to see the prostate and then there is a suspicion that you might be suffering from a prostate cancer. So there are certain things uh, how we work up, we do a biopsy of the prostate, we do a CT scan, we do a bone scan or a latest thing is to do a PSMS scan to see the spread of prostate cancer. And once we stage the prostate cancer, we treat the prostate cancer depending upon what stage it is. The treatment can vary from doing nothing at all and just observing the patient because this is a very slow growing cancer or it can entail a removal of the entire prostate, it can entail radiotherapy to the prostate or it can entail a combination of hormone therapy along with surgery or hormone therapy along with radiation. Thank you very much.